Hello there people of the internet, Tony Gaming Lemon, and welcome to a setup video. I haven't actually done one of these since 500,000 subscribers, which was a long time ago. Uh, you guys have quadrupled uh, the time and size since then. So I thought, um, I've updated the qu uh, setup quite a bit. It doesn't look too different, but there's a lot on the, uh, a lot of stuff that's been upgraded. So I've got a lot of requests to do a new one, a sort of updated one. So I thought, I might as well do that now because right now I'm actually away for three days and it's uh, you know, it's not as much time put into a video as what I normally do. And my camera has just gone bulls. Uh, let me close the blinds real quick. Right, I've had to close the blinds real quick because uh, I don't know how to camera. This is me in the flesh. I don't show my face too often. I don't really do face cam videos, so it's not really an opportunity to kind of uh, show my face. But this is me in the flesh. Sorry if I disappointed you. I'm not actually a lemon. But enough of my face. Let's go see what's up. Why? And this is where the magic happens, I guess you could say. Right, I tried opening the blinds again. The lighting looks right. You can't really see the screens properly. I, I don't know how to camera. I don't know how to fix this. Maybe I should start with the camera, actually. So this is... Um... I, d I don't know. It's the Canon S120, or what it says on the front. So, so I'll go over everything in detail for this gaming and YouTube recording, editing, slash setup thing. Uh, if you want to buy any of this stuff, like the links will be in the description below. Oh, but this is a cool Tetris light up thing, which is pretty cool. You can just take them off and put them back, but it looks like some flicky fluorescent light bullshit. If they aren't perfectly aligned, it will fuck it. Yeah, moving on. And these little figure things, I can't remember what they're called, but it's Ezio, Jason, and the Scout Trooper from Return of the Jedi. Ugh. Here's some like uh, press passes that I've got from a couple of events. Up there we just got boxes of shit because of a bit of a hoarder when it comes to boxes of stuff. Because I think I'll need them, but I, I never do, so they, they just uh, collect dust. But into the actual thing! This is a is a fork. I don't know. I don't know why that's there. So I have three monitors of the same monitor, and it is the BenQ. It's the GL258HM. I've had them for like uh, two, three years now. They're a bit outdated, but it does a job. There's nothing wrong with them, so there's no reason to upgrade, I guess. So the first one I use for editing, or just that's that's the main one, I guess. And this is the second monitor that you know there'll usually be like Spotify or Twitter loaded up there but like before I got a second monitor I never saw the point in the second monitor I thought it was a bit like uh, you know ridiculous to get one I didn't see the point but two monitors let me tell you they are so useful for anything like especially for streaming and uh, video editing so you can have the video preview on one side and have like you can see all the tracks on this side if that makes sense. It's just like there's a lot more space and there's so much room for activity. And this one is just for playing Xbox uh, or watch Netflix in here most of the time. And speaking of that, here's the Xbox One. It broke earlier. It actually broke. Yeah, all the power brick was connected and everything, but like I pressed the button and it made the noise like the blah 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 blah, whatever it is to turn on, and then nothing happened and then it wouldn't turn on. And uh, then a few days later, it just decided to work again, so that was scary. This is where I charge your controllers, that's pretty cool. This is some little like USB thing where you put the SD card, which I use to record videos on this, and then you plug it into the computer down there, which I'll get to in a sec. Shitload of Xbox One and 360 games with other crap that's on top of it. And round the back, whoa, we have uh, the new Xbox 360 because my old one just broke it doesn't work and here is the ps4 that i currently have it's very dusty because i haven't used it since the day it came out now i want to but um i i forgot how you turn it on like the other day i tried to play a game on it but i searched for like 20 minutes finding the on button there, there's no on button on here and if it is it's like really secluded like the on button on the xbox is is right there, but I, I can't find it. So I just gave up and now, yeah, that's collecting dust as well. These are just some standard Bose uh, computer speakers. Nothing too special there, but they're pretty good, but they're pretty pricey as well. So uh, yeah, if you want to have a look at those, they'll be in the description as well. This is the Logitech, I can't remember what it's called. I think it was a C220. Uh, if I'm wrong, there'll be something on the screen correcting it, but I think that's what it is. Pretty good HD webcam. It's kind of the standard HD webcam if you want to do face cam stuff, just starting up. This is the Razer, um, I forgot. There it is, the Razer Black Widow Ultimate is what I got here. It's actually quite recent I got it. It's like, uh, I got it like literally two weeks ago. There's the old Razer keyboard, the Lycos I think it was. I think it's discontinued now, so uh, good luck trying to find that one if you want a cheaper alternative. This is the Razer Death Adder. I know it's annoying how this LED is blue and this is green, but you can't change them! You know what's even worse? Look at the LEDs on my computer. Yellow! So it's yellow. 
Wait, why has one of them gone off? Oh shit. It should be another one, but it's gone. Yeah, well, so now it's like a rainbow LED thing. You can get the same keyboard, which is exactly the same as this, but like you can change the color, and I don't know why I didn't get that. I'm a turd. And that's the Razor Diff at a mouse, uh, the 2012 model or something. Like, it's, th that one's old as well. And the Razor Goliath. That. That, that mouse pad. You know, I said it before, but I hate I hate the razor names they give to the uh, like all their keyboards and mouses. Why can't they just call it like Razor Mouse? I love my look is it? I always have that next to me while I'm like editing and shiz. This is the Rode Podcaster mic uh, from the upgrade from the Blue Yeti that I've used for like ever. Uh, it's really useful now that I've got this stand, and now comes the microphone which I can use to record. I guess like with the Blue Yeti, I kind of had to place it here, and it was all here, and it was really awkward like having a big ass mic microphone there and trying to play like the sims 4 whilst i was doing it and would you look at this okay so th there's no link to buy this one but this is uh, my 1 million subscriber gold plaque which i literally just got a couple months ago well, i put it above my main monitor so that when i'm editing down there like say i start to get pretty tired or i don't feel like editing i just want to play like what's so done on there far cry you know I'll, I'll take a look up and remember that i've got like <laughs> Over 2 million people to entertain. But that is not mine, that's literally like your guys' plaque. Like, I know that's really cheesy for me to say, but like if you think about it, it actually is because each one of you that subscribed is the one who gave me like this plaque. Like I could have worked my ass off the way I did now, but like if people, if you guys didn't subscribe, then I wouldn't have got that. And the same goes here for the uh, 100k subscriber plaque, which is basically a smaller version of that one. Uh, but it's also silver. And above that we've got an Eminem Wembley Concert Stadium ticket uh, I went to back in July, I think. Uh, I'm a huge Eminem fan, so that was really good fun. And as we go down into the depths of the setup... Well, you can't see it over the lights. Maybe if I put my hand there, no. Oh, I literally got this. Literally got this yesterday. And this is the first day using it, setting it up. And now there's already a light busted. Hello? Yeah, you can customise all the lights sharp phone. You can customise all the lights on this and obviously I made this one yellow. Uh, all the PC spec stuff will be in the description below if you want to know about that stuff, I guess. Look, I can't even say if it's good or not because I haven't used it to like render a video yet. Well, by the time you're seeing this, I would have used it for like a week, but from now, I haven't used it properly, but you, I would, my, my brain hurts. So this is the headset I use, it's a pretty like crappy like looking headset. It's an old Razer headset, I can't remember what it is. I think it's a Colophus Cthulhu thing, I don't know. And this is also really new, this is the GTO Mega uh, Evo gaming office chair. It is extremely comfy. I just had one that was a, you know, it was a pretty standard crappy, like, essential office chair. And upgrading to this with all this back support and shit was like crazy. And it spins! Yes! But if you want to take a look at this one or any other of uh, the GT Omega muggles, there'll be a link in the description. And be sure to use the cheeky 5% lemon code at checkout. Whoa -ho. This is a fitness bench that I bought that was half price because I thought I'd use it. And I don't use it. It's not. I haven't even opened the box. Some games I've been meaning to sell, and a load of Christmas stuff down here. Down here's a keyboard. I actually play a, a bit of piano. I'm not too good at. It. I haven't actually played it in quite a while. But I can play Mario on it. Nearly forgot one last thing. Behind here, which you can't see, is the Elgato, which is what I used to record this. And also behind that is a HDMI splitter. Right, so I think that's about everything. So that's what I use to make videos and play games on. That's pretty much where I spend. Uh, all of my days. Uh, if you guys have any other questions about the setup or anything else, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.